I've reported on a number of occasions recently on what's going on at Volkswagen with Herbert Dies, who is, by the way, a phenomenal CEO. They've been trying to fire him, trying to get rid of him, and instead of firing him now, they're just going to remove his powers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. There's been a huge number of subscribers. I think it's about a, an increase of about 17, 18,000 subscribers over the past two weeks. Welcome to the channel. To all of you, make sure you check out some of the 650 plus videos we have made over the last six months. Those videos will give you a really good understanding of what exactly is happening, why you should invest in certain companies and not in others, and give you a little bit more perspective on what's really going on in the world of electric cars and batteries as well. So as I just said, Herbert Deese will remain as Volkswagen Group CEO after all, but his powers will be significantly diminished. He will now focus on strategy while Volkswagen brand chief Rolf Brandstatter will take over responsibility for the group's mass market brands. Kind of sounds to me like Rolf Brandstatter is the really the, the real CEO and now Herbert Deese is just focusing on strategy. Now, over the past few weeks, Volkswagen's group CEO, Herbert Deese, has been locked in a standoff with the carmaker's powerful works council, basically the union. Now, the union thinks that Herbert Deese wants to fire 30,000 workers, when that's not actually what he said. He said that unless we become more efficient as a company, unless we transform at, from being an ice vehicle manufacturer to being an electric car company, and we improve our efficiency, then we could lose a lot of staff. He's not saying he's going to fire those staff. He's saying staff could be lost. But he also said in the same breath that if we take this opportunity to grow, we can increase our staff rather than lose our staff. Of course, the works group took and interpreted this statement in a way that they rolled well, really in a negative light, didn't they? Now, as of late Friday, things appeared to be settled in the union's favor. And Deese's days as CEO of Europe's biggest automaker appeared to be potentially over soon. And to some degree, I kind of hoped they were, because I feel like if Volkswagen can't recognize that they have a brilliant leader who has helped them so much to get into this position they're in as, well, the world's best legacy automaker in terms of transitioning to electric cars, best placed automaker, then if they can't appreciate that, then maybe they don't deserve the guy. But the dispute seems to have been resolved, Reuters reports. After prolonged negotiations led by Volkswagen Supervisory Board Chairman Hans Dieter Potsch, the two sides reportedly reached a solution that will allow Herbert Dies to keep his job, kind of. Now, one of the sources reported that it is going in the direction that the dispute will be settled and Dies will remain CEO. The compromise will see Dies focus on strategy while, like I said before, Volkswagen's brand chief, Ralph Brandstatter, will become a member of the management board. Now, this Inside EV says that this aligns with German media reports from last month that said Brandstatter would take over responsibility for the group's mass market brands from Dies. Apparently, Dies isn't doing enough a good enough job with their mass market brands, so Ralph is taking over that area. Volkswagen's mass market brand group includes Volkswagen, Skoda, and Seat. Obviously, the companies that are making mass market vehicles. It is not the first time Dies has been forced to cede responsibility in favor of Ralph after relinquishing the helm at Volkswagen Brands last year. So why has Herbert Dies still got his job? It all comes down to one thing. The majority shareholders of the company want him there. German press reported on Monday that Herbert Dies is backed by the Porsche Peach family, Volkswagen Group's majority stakeholder, against union pressure to fire him. Labor representatives have a powerful say in the way the company is run, though holding half the seats on Volkswagen AG's board. So like I said before, Herbert Dies has, well, basically the union has wanted to fire him ever since he mentioned the risk potential risk of Volkswagen losing 30,000 jobs if they weren't able to transition to electric cars quickly enough. In the same breath, he also said that Tesla and Chinese electric car companies were their biggest competition. He reportedly told Volkswagen supervisory board that the carmaker's home plant in Wolfsburg, Germany, needed to become much more efficient. And 
and transition to electric vehicles more quickly to compete with emerging automakers like Tesla and China. Now, he also said that it takes more than 30 hours for Volkswagen to build an electric vehicle at that plant, and it takes Tesla 10 hours to build an electric vehicle at their new plant in Berlin, in Germany. So he's pointing out facts here. The facts are, right now, Volkswagen is not cost competitive with Tesla. I'm building electric vehicles. He's saying we need to change. I, I think this is simply stating a fact. I can't understand why they would want to fire him over that. I think if you actually look at his performance over the last few years, and you have to say he is the most successful legacy auto CEO, probably one of the most successful CEOs, non full stop in the world. Now, one of the interesting comments to this article said, it is a fine example of the Works Council, the union, because it is trying its best to resolve the whole issue while aiming for a win-win situation. Now, I think that this commenter has completely misinterpreted what the Works Council is trying to do. They don't want to keep him there. They want to fire him. The only reason he's still there is because the majority shareholder of the company wants him there. Realistically, this is a fine example of the incompetence of the Works Council to purposely try to misunderstand Deese's warning that if they don't transition to electric vehicles and to the threat of innovation and to the real demands that they need with production efficiency, then they will lose those jobs. He's not saying they'll fire them. He's just saying that's what will happen. It's not as if Deese actually wants to fire anyone. He's cautioning against letting them occur. Now, for the love of all that's good in the world, please, Volkswagen, come to your senses. Give the man back his proper role as CEO and get over this. It's just ridiculous that you're focusing on this one little thing. Let's move on. Volkswagen, you can do it. Man, man is this embarrassing for you as a company. It just, it just speaks to some sort of, I don't know, it's corruption, it's mismanagement, it's whatever. Whoever these people are, I don't understand why they're trying to get rid of this man when obviously everyone realizes he's an excellent CEO and he's doing a fantastic job for the company. So, rant over. Tell me what you think. I mean, what do I know? I'm just one person. Tell me what you think about what's going on at Volkswagen in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.